up my people welcome back to the channel leave a like and also subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber please click that tap bell icon to get notified when there's anything new on the channel and if you don't see the option for like the video please just click on your right hand side that x is there and you will get the option for like the video so my people we are gonna kick it off with a little update upon the two elderly man we get dash way for lack of better words yesterday uh, yesterday or the day before yesterday i think i uh, yesterday i want place named parks road right so i'm gonna give you an update my people seeing because one of them did for fly out go america go link up with him fiance resident claim family dispute over land led to double murder a long-standing family dispute over land is alleged to be the cause of a double murder in the Kushni road section of parks road in saint andrew on monday evening Cutting plans short for one of two elderly victims who was preparing to migrate to the United States. The two victims have been identified as 76-year-old Walton Pusey and 61-year-old Sylvester Leslie, who was the one relatives said was planning to migrate and join his fiance in the U.S. The double murder is said to have taken place between 6:30 p.m. and 8 p.m. Monday, when the resident reportedly heard explosion. The bloodied body of Pusey, who is believed to have been the target, was found following the coroning. Tuesday morning, Leslie's body was discovered in bushes. It is theorized that Leslie, who was on his way home, got caught in the GUN fire. So you see people as this man if he fly out so terrible accident cause him to lose him three points and gone. You know what I mean? One of Leslie's relatives placed both hands on her head on Tuesday morning as reality it that he would no longer be rushing to her assistance whenever there was a manly task to be undertaken at her house. Nobody was looking for this, said the relatives, adding that a number of people were mourning. Somebody called me this morning and said to run come because he's DEAD. I understand that he wasn't supposed to go to work the morning. He was supposed to go and do his medical to go to America. He was a laborer and was the father of three, said Leslie relative. We don't know what really caused this. A whole lot of SHOTS were fired. He seems to have got caught up in the GUN fire. Eyewitnesses said when the car stopped, the man just go in upon the other man and start SHOT him, the relative claimed. Pusey relatives were still in shock when our news team visited their home on Tuesday. They were in no mood to speak. Residents allege that it was known to many that there was a long-standing issue between Pusey and a relative over land. They claimed that the land dispute had been the source of misery for Pusey. So you see it, people, the man get caught up over some land where nobody can carry with them. You understand me, I say? And a whole heap of time we see them something here happen. Down to all the man who fly out, go, go America, go link up with him fiance, that the man there, you know what I mean, fall victim to a senseless K-I-L-L-I-N-G. You know what I mean? And you can't carry land with your bridging. You see me, a whole heap of time we see people cross over land, damage each other over land. All different type of something. You know what I mean? If I want a big piece of land, you take peace and give me peace. Simple as that. And I bet you see some family land. So people, you see certain arguments, you say if you can avoid it. And sometimes you can give away your rights just for peace sake, you know. You know what I mean? All when you know say you're right and you have fear. If you have it, Forget Boyaso and choose peace over a property. You know what I mean? So we are going to move on, my people. Sound system selector SHOT dead in Spanish town. A sound system selector was shot dead by a gunman in Demchapen, Spanish town, St. Catherine, on Tuesday morning. He has been identified as 40 year old David Palmer, who is also a construction worker from the community. It was reported that around 10 45 a.m., residents reportedly heard several loud explosions in the area and stumbled upon the body of the now deceased. The police were summoned and upon their arrival saw the now deceased lying on his back 
along the roadway. He was reportedly wearing a grey shirt, grey shorts and had a green coloured sheet, sheet over the lower part of his feet. The body had what appeared to be GU and SHOT wounds to the chest. No motive has yet been established for the KILLING, the police say. A while ago, me have to stop and say sheet. You see me I say? So, them say I have a sheet over him lower part of him foot. So, I guess maybe I am also attack him and him grab him sheet and, you know what I mean, take away himself. Jaja. You know, no. So, people, leave your comment in the comment section and let me know what you guys think. So, we are going to move on, people. Four SHOT in Greenwich Town, one fatally. A shooting in Greenwich Town in Kingston left one man DEAD and three others injured on Tuesday evening. Our news team understand that the incident occurred near a security checkpoint station in the area about 5.30 p.m. The police are currently on the scene. More details soon. So after a man in me see the article of people and me a search and me not see no update none at all. You see it? So as soon as there is an update, I'm going to share it with you guys and please like up the live, you know what I mean, and subscribe to the channel. If you don't see the option for like the live, you're going to see one expire right hand side. Click on the X, you're going to come out of the live chat and get the option for like the video and then you can click back live chat, I think, and go back upon the screen that you was on before. So we're going to move on, people. Clarendon man now charged with M-U-R-D-E-R. For wives, D E A T H. So remember the thing we're going on at Portland where the man must say lick him wife and him wife go up her friend yard and go lie down upon the bed and by a couple hours the friend see she now move and when the friend check she gone. You see me? The Clarion and police have upgraded to M U R D E R the charge against a Clarendon man who was arrested in relation to the death of his Canadian wife in Portland in May. 28-year-old Rory Palmer was initially charged with assault occasion in grievous bodily harm. However, the police announced on Wednesday that the charge was upgraded to murder following extensive investigation and consultation with personnel from the office of the direct director of public prosecution and the crime office police say about 4 p.m on may 12 Palmer and his spouse jada whited of mars toronto canada had a dispute that got physical Palmer reportedly threw a fan at her hitting her in the face after which he slammed her head into a wall several times. Sometime later, she was found unresponsive. The police were alerted and on their arrival, Whitehead was seen lying in a bed. She was taken to the hospital where she was pronounced. See, so people, why may I tell you now? You see, oh, sometimes you can lose your temper and just make a life decision right there so we affect your life. You know what I mean? Look what this man do. I can bet you see some argument about mm. man are sitting like that. In a car. You see what cause argument between woman and man most of the time is either infidelity or money. Yeah, man. That are the two things we mostly cause argument between couples. You understand me? I say? And if this man did just humble himself and not act out of anger, this would not happen. You see, I never expect to beat the human head upon the wall that would kill her, you know. And see it there. You know what I mean? He must lick up her head hard upon the wall, my people. And I feel her picture there upon the thumbnail. You see me, I say, John no star, boy, I tell her. The girl look good to you, know, Bridget. So, people, leave your comment. In the comment section, let me know what you think. Here, the 3-year-old woman, K-I-L-L, 73-year-old among injured in Greenwich Town, quadruple, S-H-O-O-T-I-N-G. Four people, including three senior citizens, were S-H-O-T in Greenwich Town, Kingston on Tuesday. One of the senior citizens has died. She was the oldest of the four victims. She has been identified as 83-year-old Yuna Buchanan. The other injured victims are a 63-year-old man, 
a 73 year old man and a 33 year old man all of kingston 13 addresses they were reportedly shot during a drive-by conning at about 4 50 in the afternoon so this is the update my people upon the conning when me share with you guys when me are telling you say um missy from morning and there was not any update so me just get that update you know too long you understand so the female will drop out she at 83 she named yuna buchanan so i guess she could move from where she did because she had 83 she not agile enough to take away herself on side can you know what i mean so r.i.p to her condolences to her family and speedy recovery to the rest of her so then we get can you know what i mean so we are gonna move on my people man l nearly a year after allegedly stabbing man to death over rent 34 year old a 34 year old man has been slapped with M-U-R-D-E-R charges after he allegedly stabbed a man to death during a dispute in Kingston in December 2022. Charge is Cedric Powell, otherwise called Percy, and Lala Boy, a party contractor of Bloomsbury Road in Kingston 10. D-E-A-D is 36-year-old Patrick Newby of Venables Crescent, Kingston 11. Reports from the Unsbury Police are that about 7.30 a.m., Powell and Newby had an argument about rent when Powell used a knife to inflict a wound to Newby's chest. He was taken to hospital where he was pronounced dead on October 8, 2023, about 11 a.m. An intelligent lead operation was done at Ocherius Bay, Bay Beach by police personnel attached to the St. Anne Division when Powell was seen and arrested. He was subsequently charged after a question and answer interview. So people don't think before the act. The all me have to say. So moving along people. So the GC Foster Vice Principal that got KILL. Them all on a 21 year old youth. I think last week. I know them come all on the next man. See? Short man charged with M-U-R-D-E-R. Of GC Foster, Vice Principal Gibbs Williams. A 40 year old man is the second person to be charged with MURDER following the shooting death of Gibbs Williams, the Vice Principal of GC Foster College and Megaway, Portmore St. Catching on October 6. Odin Watson, otherwise called Shortman of Duff Street, Kingston 13, was charged with MURDER. Aiding and abetting robbery with aggravation, being a participant in a criminal organization, making use of a firearm to commit a felony, possession of, pro of a prohibited firearm, and unauthorized possession of ammunition. Five days after, charges were laid against his alleged 21 year old accomplice. Al's reports are that about 12 15 pm, Williams 55 was in the process of leaving a hospital complex when he was attacked by the suspects and SHOT. The police were alerted and he was taken to the hospital where he was pronounced. Following an investigation, Watson was arrested and charged after he was interviewed in the presence of his attorney on Tuesday, October 17. So they might catch them one by one. Me, I wonder if one of them a chat or somebody would see what go on. You know what I mean? Give the police them little information. See, so let me know what you guys think in the comment section, my people. Senior citizen dies from head injuries sustained in a fight. A Saint Anne man was hospitalized after he suffered head injuries during a physical confrontation with another man as died he was he has been identified as Adley cameron a 66 year old farmer of bohemia district cave valley in saint anne cameron died about 5 pm on tuesday at the percy junior hospital where he had been admitted for three days it's reported that on october 14 cameron and another man had a dispute and cameron was pushed Cameron fell and suffered a blow to the head. He was taken to 
hospital and you know him drop out you know what i mean so me i wonder if he's a next elderly man him in our vibes with and the man push him you see me so guys let me know what you think in the comment section and remember people like this video please and thanks click the like button and also subscribe to the channel if you are not already a subscriber and click the top bell icon for notification after you subscribe so guys leave your comment in the comment section this is the end of the video subscribe like bless up on yourself thanks for watching